Good morning. I am uh, very excited to show you some of the 9.4 enhancements for map automation and map production. Let's take, for example, this ArcMap document. We'll zoom into my electrical network features, only to find I have a serious problem. But that's OK. It appears that my paths have been broken. That's happened to all of us. Not going to panic in front of all of you. But uh, one of the things that 9.4 introduces is a new embedded Python experience. And that's going to help me fix this problem. So I'm going to load in a Python script and execute that here directly from ArcMap. And what you're going to see is my paths automatically repaired, not only for this ArcMap document, but this script can also be used for the thousands of ArcMap documents you may have referencing this broken path. And you can see in the back my paths have been repaired. I'd also like to update the symbols of these, the symbology for these features. However, I have the same problem. Thousands of ArcMap documents, all referencing what we see here on this map. Python can help us there, too. So I'm going to load in one more Python script and execute this. And you can watch in the back as my map is updated and the layer symbology is switched out. And there we go. Now, map automate, Python's a, a fantastic tool for helping us to automate and manage our ArcMap documents. But there's another 9.4 enhancement I'd like to show you now, and that's map production. And Centerpoint Energy was the inspiration for the workflows that I'm showing you now. And this is what Centerpoint faced a year ago when Hurricane Ike slammed into the Texas Gulf Coast. More than 2 million people without power in one of the nation's largest cities. Centerpoint responded by distributing map books to their field crews to help get the grid back up. So I'm going to show you now how organizations like Centerpoint have helped us to improve the map production experience of 9.4. We're going to create a map book for one of the uh, Centerpoint electrical circuits. This is going to be a 1 to 2400 scale map. And to get started with creating this map book, I'm going to activate the new data-driven pages toolbar. Once I set this up, hit OK, I now have, from a single ArcMap document, multiple pages that I can cycle through. You can watch in the bottom right of my screen as I cycle through all these pages in this document. I'd also like to point out the special text that I have on the perimeter of the data frame. This is also new to 9.4. This is called dynamic text. This dynamic text is formatted using tags, tags that either reference attributes of our features or properties of our ArcMap document. So it's possible for us to bring in, for each page, a different page name, the adjacent pages to this, page, to this sheet, or system information, like the user that's logged in, or the date in which they last printed it. So for every turn of the page, the labels automatically update. Now, I'm happy with this map that we've uh, produced so far, so I'm going to export this out to a PDF. I'll save that out. Here's the output from that. This is a multi-page PDF document that we've taken directly from ArcMap. And here you can see all the pages in this map sheet that I've created. Now, this is a, these are fantastic tools, and it's certainly going to help GIS analysts be more productive with their job. But we can take this to a much broader range using Python and ArcGIS server. I've created a Python script tool that I've published to ArcGIS server. Once published to ArcGIS server, I can then consume this in a web mapping application, like the sample JavaScript viewer that we see here. So I'm going to open up this tool. And as the user, I can customize my experience. I can show what features I'd want to have displayed in my map or not displayed. I'm going to turn off the transformers. I can choose what pages of this map that I want to have returned to me. So I'm going to submit this to ArcGIS Server. And what ArcGIS Server is doing is it's going to return a formatted PDF map book that I can then download and have on my desktop. So what we're doing is we're really opening this up to the non-GIS professionals in the organization. So here you see my title page. 
my index, the map sheets that I requested, and now a contact sheet. So the enhancements in 9.4 for map automation and map production are going to help all of us, not only manage our ArcMap documents better, but also to produce better maps. Thank you.